Today I have a tutorial inspired by Taylor Swift's new music video style. As you can see, this is a very classic Taylor Swift look. I really loved her look in the music video. Like I said, it's not really anything too special or fancy, um, but it is just a very youthful, classic, not to be like too pun ish um, but it really is just a very classic simple look and I just thought she looked absolutely beautiful in the video I'm gonna be the first to tell you I'm really not a huge Taylor Swift fan but with this new album I just like have not been able to stop with her I don't know what it is I feel like that's been the case for so many people but like before this new album I was just not really a huge fan and then all of a sudden it's like I just catch myself like you know, jamming with her. Even before this music video came out, I'm sure we could all kind of guess what kind of look she was gonna have, and obviously the red lip was key. So, um, like I said, super duper simple look. I used three shadows, all from the Naked palette, and then just a red lip. So anyway, if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting on a base. Since this is a very simple look, you don't have to worry about being too precise with this. I am just going to be using the Sigma Shadow Base in the color Persuade. It's just kind of a flesh toned neutral color, um, a little bit on the pinky side. And I'm just going to apply this right to the lid and then up into the crease just a smidge. I'm actually only using two eyeshadow colors because her look is very, very, very simple. If you guys are down with the red lip, this would be an awesome everyday look, but if you are not somebody who would want to wear a red lip on a super daily basis, you could do this look very, very easily and keep yourself just looking very, you know, put together, but it's a quick effortless look and then you could just do a nude lip or something like that. It would be an awesome, awesome everyday look. And I feel like at this point, tons of people have the naked palette and that's what I'm going to be using. So I feel like this would be a very achievable look for a lot of people. Um, if you don't have the original naked palette, I highly recommend it. I feel like this is the perfect, ultimate, like just, you know, nude palette. I've had this thing forever. The color I'm going to be using all over my lid is Sidecar. Basically, if you don't have this palette, what you're gonna wanna look for is a color that is just slightly shimmery that just gives you a really nice um, sheen on your lids and it's just a hair darker than your skin tone. That's what it looked like she was wearing in the music video, so that is what I tried to find. I love this shade, it's absolutely amazing. And I'm just going to be using a flat shader brush to apply this. And so basically what I'm going to do is just pat it on and then kind of sweep it over the lid and then just kind of go like this. I don't really know how to explain it any better, um, but just kind of take the brush sideways and pull it up into the crease and then just drag it outwards. And that is really all we're going to be doing for the top lid. You can build it up and make it as shimmery as you would like. Hers was like questionable to the point where I was like, is she even wearing eyeshadow? But as I was continuing to watch the video, it looked like she had a little something going on. So that's kind of the shade you're gonna wanna go for. It's very natural. Um, with just a really nice little sheen to it. This is probably gonna be one of the most basic eye looks I think I've ever done on my channel. I'm going to take this color Buck on a flat little tiny thin, super super thin shader brush and just going to be lightly applying this to the lower lash line. She barely has anything going on down there but just enough to kind of give her eye a little bit more definition. So that's all we're going for. Okay, I lied. I said we were going to only use two shadow colors, but we're going to use three. All of them are from this palette, though. I'm just taking this color Virgin for the inner corner just to brighten it up and to give you kind of that glowy, dewy look. So there's that, just to give it a little bit of brightness towards the inner corner. Then for the liner, I'm just taking my favorite. I feel like I use this in every single tutorial I ever do, but this is literally my favorite right now. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. It's the black one. And I've been getting a lot of questions about this little brush I've been using. I never expected so many questions about it, but just uh, for those of you who are wondering, and if I didn't get back to your comment, this is just a little, um, brush from Milani that comes with their gel liners. It's not anything special at all. It was just literally a brush that came with the gel liner, which I usually am not a huge fan of, but I really like tiny little precise brushes for liner, especially when I'm going to be doing such a petite little wing like this. Ugh. 
and I'm taking this almost straight out about that far and then just dragging it inward. That's basically about all there is to it. And then for the lashes, if you watched the video, she just had very, very short, natural looking lashes. Mine right now are just very pitiful looking. I've been wearing false lashes way too much and kind of just not been taking them off properly, so my lashes look very sad right now. <laughs> so for the lashes, I'm just going to be applying a quick coat of mascara. I'm using the Tarte's Gifted Mascara, and then I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. Feel free to wear the regular Wispies or any kind of lash like that. I just personally felt the Demi ones would be best for this look because hers were very short, but they were also pretty full. So if you do a couple coats of mascara and then wear the wispies, you'll see it gives you that really full look right towards the base, and then as they flare out, just very wispy. <laughs> this is just a super, super simple look, but it was just so pretty and youthful looking in the video. I just kind of wanted to recreate it for you guys. Like I said, it would be a really awesome daytime look. Um, minus the red lip, or if you want to wear the red lip, then girlfriend, you rock that red lip. Even just with a nude lip, I feel like this would be a really, really pretty look, just to kind of make you look put together, but not like you tried too hard. Okay, so I'm just going to take a Sigma F40, and it's just an angled fluffy brush, and I'm going to be applying this Milani bronzer with a very light hand. Um, like I said, more than anything, just to add some color back into my face, not really to carve out my cheekbone or contour or anything crazy like that. It's really just to add some color. Her whole entire look just looked very effortless and that's kind of what we're going for. So you don't want to really overdo anything. Just, I feel like this is one of the most basic tutorials I've ever done, but I was just so in love with her look. It was just so, I don't know, just so girly and feminine. I just really liked it. Okay, so there's that. I'm literally just going to take the same brush. We want this to be a very cohesive look, so it's just really gonna kind of blend all the colors together. Same brush. I'm going to be using Milani's Romantic Rose very light-handedly again, and I'm just going to be... Okay, so I got cut off and didn't realize. I'm really sorry, but I finished applying this Milani bra... Blush. Um, and this one is the one in Romantic Rose. Ah, uh, la 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 la. I am going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of highlight and using the same brush just so that it all kind of blends together. I'm just going to use this shimmery shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit, the one that I always use. I just love this one. I feel like it looks so nice and just very natural looking. It's not like over the top disco ball type looking highlighter. I just feel like... See what I mean? It just kind of gives you a nice little glow to your skin. So for the red lip, I'm going to be doing just a very, very traditional red lip. Exactly what you think of when you think of a red lip. I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the color Fire Engine, and it is just red, red. It is just the epitome of what you think of when you see red. And then I'm also going to be using the Hot Red Liner from NYX. I don't feel like she really overdraws her lips at all. I feel like she stays pretty true to her natural lip line. So that is what I'm going to do here. I don't know if I've ever used this lip pencil now that I'm looking at it. It literally looks brand new. So um, I'm going to do this and just stay right along my natural lip line and then go back with the lipstick after this. And then I'm just going to start slightly filling it in. I feel like lip liners last forever on your lips. So if you're going to be wearing this all day, it just really gives your lipstick a nice base to cling on to. All right, I'm going to call that good and then just go in with the lipstick. This is cracking me up watching myself talk in the viewfinder with my lip liner like this. So that is the finished look. Like I said, you guys, this is a super, super easy to achieve basic look. There's really not a whole lot to it. Obviously, the main focus is on the red lip. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Love y'all. Bye.